Hello, Apple SDK Dev here today. Uh, basically, right now, what I'm going to be showing you how to make is actually something pretty cool, actually. It's a theme. But um, there's something that you need to do before we actually start. So you just need to make sure you have a jailbroken iDevice. So that could be an iPhone, iPod Touch, or an iPad. But the number one thing, it has to be jailbroken for this to work. So the first thing is, I'm just going to show you what the complete theme looks like. It's basically just a folder. So this one's called a cartoon theme. So inside of it, you need a couple things. You need some wallpaper. This is what it's going to look like, the background, um, which the icons will sit on in the actual screen. Um, this is basically like the lock screen background. This is an info playlist, which you won't really need. It's not really necessary. And you also need to have a folder that says icons. It must be spelled correctly as long as the bundles folder. But in the icons, that's where you're going to keep all the icons you're going to make. Now, for this theme, it kind of looks like, as you can see, they're all hand-drawn. That's kind of what I was going for. And you need to make sure, when you're making your icons, you name them the exact same way as they appear on the phone. So if I have the AIM app on my phone, I need to name it AIM.PNG. That's another thing. They all need to be PNG. So every single image in any of these themes have to be a .png file. That's just the way iPhone runs, I guess. So basically, make sure it's the same. Even if there, um, there's like um, an app that has a space in between it, you need to put in that space. That way iTunes can recognize it, and the iPhone will actually adapt to the actual images. So also, the last thing, you have bundles. And inside of that, you're going to make a little folder called com.apple.telephonyui. And inside that, it's optional. You didn't even have to make this folder at all. But if you look at it, this is basically, this is going to be your slider. So this is an optional button, but you can choose to have your custom slider. So on the lock screen, instead of just sliding the normal icon, you can design that yourself. There are specific dimensions, so in this case, it would be around 61 by 46, anywhere around that. But it's also going to be necessary to name it bottom bark knob and then any color really, dot PNG. So let's go ahead, and um, I was planning on making a new one for you. Yeah, I guess I could do it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we'll make a folder. What should we call this one? Um, let's just go with the test theme right now. So we'll just name it test theme. Inside this, first let's go into... I mean, a lot of people use Photoshop. I got that. Let's just use something very simple. So I'm just going to open a uh, paintbrush. It's nice. I can make it very quick. E pixels. So 320 by 460. Now, I'm going to kind of say goodbye to you. I'm going to speed up this process. That way you don't actually see me making the design. It'll be in a very fast motion. So, uh, see you when I'm done. Done. Okay, that process is over. Let's just make sure we save that. And we're going to have to title it the same way as it's going to be. So wallpaper dot PNG. We'll go ahead and save that right into our folder that we just made on the desktop. Test, test, test name. Okay. So now the next thing we have to do is make a lock background. Now this is going to be the same exact size, and I mean, as you can see right here, I kind of made it like black in the screen. That way it didn't actually show up on the regular thing. So I think we'll go ahead and do that again. I'll copy this one to just make sure I do it pretty similar. So again, the dimensions for this one have to be 320 by 460. So we have this one there, so we know what we're doing now. Now that we're here, we're going to do a little bit of adjusting. First, we're going to crop out this one because, well, it's no longer my cartoon theme. We're going to be making our own test theme. So, what we're going to do is, we'll just make some random colors just like before. I'll speed up the process once again so you don't really have to stick in here for all this boring stuff. So, let's see, what do we have to do to make this one cool? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm just going to go with just a simple color background. And I'll just write test theme, so uh, you don't really have to go for away for this. So we'll just name that test, change up the color so it's not just blue on blue. You won't even be able to tell the difference. I kind of like the font cracked. I don't know about you guys. Ever heard of it? Yeah, it's decent. So now that we got our 
cracked font. We'll make it nice and big. Oh, it's not big enough. Boom, I like that. We'll leave that right there. We'll have to save this one now as lock back ground. Okay. We're going to save this one as a .png once again, and we'll get it right into that folder. Now that it's saved, another thing we have to do is make some icons. So first, let's make that folder that's right on the desktop. So we're here for a test screen. We're going to make a new folder called icons. Now, it would be really boring for me to go and make, I don't know, 50 to 100 icons. The more, the better it is for other users. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to go back into this theme and copy all the ones I already made. I guess you can um, understand how to make them. You can make them in anything like Photoshop or Paint, any kind of application. Uh, some specifications, it has to be an exact square, preferably 60 by 60. So that's an important thing to realize. Um, the next thing we're going to do is, I personally do like having a bundle, so I'm going to copy and paste that once again because I don't really feel like making a whole other image again. So we're going to go into our testing, paste my bundles, com.apple.telephony UI. I mean, I guess I can go ahead and change this one. I guess the dimensions are about 60 by 45, so let's just go ahead and make a new one of those. Let's paint for 60 by 45. Perfect. Alright, what should we make this one look like? I don't know. I kind of like having the black background, you know? Kind of blends in with the actual lock. Makes it look a little bit better. Let's just go with um, an oval. Let's go with a blue on the inside. That would look nice. Shaboom. What do you think about that? Let's color in that inside. Maybe we'll just like put like just a T for test. Yeah, I'm feeling really cool right now. I don't know about you guys. Let's make that crack again because it's all the best. It's the best. We already knew that one. I already told you that. T for test. Yeah, I don't know if that will fit. Alright, and let's go with just a blue color. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, I know that's kind of suckish right there, but I guess it's good enough. So we're going to save that under bottom, bark, knob. Whoops, no two Ks. Knob gray. And I'm gonna go into my bundles. And I'm actually just gonna go right over that. Change it to a PNG. So it'll actually replace the one that's already there. Now it's saved, and I'm actually I'm pretty much set for this whole thing. Now once you're here, your file's basically done. You're gonna have to use a, some kind of an application that transfers onto your device. I'm not going to actually give you, um, show you me doing that by myself, but I will put you a link in which you can download an application. Like, for in my case, I use something called Fugu. Uh, I can just show you what it looks like, that way you know you're downloading the right thing. It looks like a little fish in the front. It's pretty self-explanatory once you get there, or you can read directions if you search it on Google or something like that. But um, now I'm just going to go ahead and skip right to it actually on my iPod. Um, I think that'll be just the most easiest. Um, thanks for watching the tutorial. Um, subscribe, rated five stars, um, just all the usual, leave me some feedback, check out my website, uh, wayofmath.com, it's pretty cool, and um, keep watching and I'll actually show you how it looks on the actual phone, thanks. Hey guys, Apple SDK Dev back here, um, I'm just showing you kind of like the finished product, so basically once you have your um, iDevice, you're going to go open um, the winter board, sorry the icon's kind of displaced, I actually accidentally did that. So once you're here, you're going to go ahead and uh, select themes. And see, there it is, actually. The test theme is actually right there. So then you're going to click it, go back, and after you're going to wait, watch the device respring. And after it kind of, like, reboots or respring's as it's actually called, you'll see how it actually turns out. And see, look, oh, right there. So look, it's got my test theme. It even has the slider. It's pretty cool, like even all the icons showed up. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. See you guys.